At home, we use multiple plastic utensils, drinking glasses, containers for butter, cream, etc. But we rarely stop to think about how they are made. The hero in this case is an injection molding machine. Grossly, the machine has an electric motor and a hydraulic pump which move around the oil for performing several operations by pushing powerful pistons inside the machine. One of these pistons is for opening and closing the platen, that is, the part of the machine where the mold is mounted for each product. Another hydraulic piston injects the melted plastic inside a thick steel tube called a gun, forcing it to enter the mold cavities in order to create the products. We also have a hopper where the plastic granules of the appropriate color and texture are initially fed for each product. This hopper feeds the gun in order to replenish the plastic granules used during production. Next to the main machine is the control console, where you can see the thermostats or temperature controllers, which turn some electrical resistance on and off in order to produce the proper amount of heat for melting the plastic. There are some control circuits in the console, which is the brain controlling the sequence of operation in the cycle, as well as the duration of each operation. The operating cycle of the machine is as follows. A powerful piston inside the gun drives a ball screw, which has two movements. One of them is rotation, and it uses the ball screw in the piston to load the gun with plastic granules coming out of the hopper and filling the gun. The resistances surrounding the gun melt the plastic granules to change them into thick liquid which fills the gun. This part of the cycle is called loading. The mold consists of two halves and inside them is the hollow space where the melted plastic is injected in order to form the product. Once the mold is closed, the piston initially used to fill the gun now moves toward the mold and injects the molten plastic into the mold until it's full. The time span of this part of the cycle can be adjusted so that the mold receives the appropriate amount of plastic and the product comes out complete. This part of the cycle is called injection. Once this movement is done, the ball screw will turn the other way to reload the gun one more time. The next step is a dwelling period for the plastic to cool inside the mold. During this step, the mold stays closed and so the product hardens and can be removed from the machine. This step of the cycle is called cooling. Once the cooling time has elapsed, the platen opens so the product can be removed from the mold. I hope this video has been useful for you. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel.